Hi everyone, uh, today we're going to go through and show you how you can create a clone of your live website on your Windows computer. So having a local clone or development site is very advantageous for testing. And we're not actually going to go through and show you the process of backing up your website because there's in multiple ways of being able to do that. Um, but we're going to do everything manually. Okay, so let's get started. So the, the most, the first thing you, you need is you need these two um, files or fol and folders. So I've gone in and manually downloaded my public HTML folder, and I've logged into my host and exported or backed up my database. So you could either have the zip version, the gzip version here, or just the .sql is fine as well. So make sure you get those two before you start. First thing is I'm just going to rename this public HTML folder to something more user friendly or human friendly so I'm just going to call it box likes. Okay so we'll go into here and you know depending on how complicated your website is this is what you should see. My, my blog is very basic so there's not a lot of stuff in here but um, the general concept is exactly the same. Uh, what we're looking for is this WP config file. I've gone ahead and edited um, the doc some of the information here just for privacy reasons but um, the f f top four things are the most important and what we're looking for. So the database name, the database user, the database password and the database host. So uh, I, I wouldn't if you're just doing this at home, just leave everything as de um, as it is. Don't go and change it. Um, just makes everything a little bit easier. Except if your database host is actually pointing to another server, make sure you change it to localhost here for it to work. Okay. So go into your ramp. Click on PHP my admin. Log in. And what we want to do is the first thing is we're going to go and create a database. So create a database name. We want this database name. Whatever this database name is, you can just copy and paste it in here. Go create. And then you'll see it pop up over here, WordPress. So click on it. And at the moment, uh, it's empty. So what we do is we go import browse so now this is where we import our WordPress database so put in there leave everything default and hit go shouldn't take too long you can see it says import has successfully finished a couple of things what I want to do is here is go down to WP underscore options click on that what we want to do there's three areas we want to edit in here the first is the very first one so where it says that's the um, full domain. What I want to do is change that to localhost forward slash and the name of the folder. So in there is the name, the, this name here that we've created. It can be anything you want. Go enter and it'll say one row affected. Do the same, scroll the way down to the next page. There's two more spots. One, another one is home. Change that to the same local host and the folder name. And the other one you want to look for is this um, permalink structure. It's most most likely it's on the post name. What we need to do is we need to delete that so that it uh, is on its default for it to work on our local host. That's pretty much it with the database we've created. Go back to the local host, what we want to go through into users, and now we just need to create a user for it. So click add user. In this username, go over here and copy the database username. So in there, on your host, change it to localhost, and the password is the database password you have in here. So copy and paste that twice. Don't go generate, so don't worry about creating a database with that. We've already done that. We want to grant all privileges and click check all. 
scroll down the bottom and hit go okay so that's pretty much it so the user we've got a lot of host password yes and grant yes actually that's that's almost it so this is the live site so to get onto your local site all you do is go local host slash the folder name here if you hit OK what you'll see is see if you see over here it says localhost and that folder name and you can actually see that it's almost well in this scenario it is an exact duplicate of the live site so that's the uh, localhost and that's the live site localhost live site localhost live site so aware of is uh, if the links that you have on your live site are hard linked or hard coded to point to another area on your website um, in your local host it will do the same so it'll point to your live site so I'll see if I can find one to show so I think these see these links I've made they are all hard linked so if I point if I rest on that one you can see down the bottom uh, left there in the bottom corner I can't move the mouse because I'll lose it it actually says www the link is www.loxlikes.com so that's a hard link so if I click on that it will actually take me to the live site okay so these are just little things you've got to be wary of um, while you're editing your local host the uh, the best thing I've found is to actually disable the internet while you're doing this I mean if you're logging in locally um, disable the internet while you're doing these edits that way you won't have any issues with um, it automatically jumping into your your live site and not realizing you're changing the wrong site so you can I'll show you you can actually log in to your local host as well okay so you can you just as you can see everything is exactly the same as your live site um, just keep an eye up on here that it you are logged into your local host or like I said disconnect your website uh, you can go here and you can do all your testing make your changes obviously if you disconnect your internet you can't go and update any uh, plugins or anything like that so you know it kind of defeats the purpose if you're testing a plugin update or theme anyway that's I think that's pretty obvious but I just wanted to go through that because uh, it took me a while to figure it out but it was a lot simpler to manually do it than um, I thought you know without using plugins or anything like that I hope this has helped somebody and um, thanks for watching obviously if you have any queries or comments please leave in the comment section and um, I'll do my best to respond or to find a solution for you thanks for watching